at three on TV5. the show this week a little bit a little bit different a little bit unusual as you can see we're going to take a look back at the reason that i haven't been here on the show for several weeks going back to the mid-south coliseum a few weeks ago in a match that i was going against randy savage and as you all saw i had the man beat had him pinned tux newman his manager comes in the ring saves him and i was just about to give tux a memphis style welcome when randy savage comes up and saves him now what we're about to watch here for the next four minutes is a wild man. I mean, I can't think of any other words. I can't think of any other way to describe a guy that did what Randy Savage is going to roll, what you're seeing here on the screen. Now, it's one thing to go out and try to win a match. It's one thing to go out and try to uh, do your best, or even it's even one thing to go out and intentionally try to hurt an opponent. But what you're going to see here is, is, is this goes way beyond, uh, way beyond what should take place in a wrestling ring. Now there you've just seen Randy Savage administer a pile driver. Now I can't, you know, I can't, uh, I can't say that I've never done the same thing to an opponent because as everybody knows that I've used a pile driver in the past too. But now you're seeing Savage go, as I said, way beyond that. Here referee Joey Calhoun tries to stop him. He's got a metal tray in the ring there that, uh, that he had the Southern Heavyweight belt stretched around. And he's going to try to drop my head right on that metal tray. Of course, as I said, Calhoun tries to stop him. Now here, uh, uh, here's the man who's just thrown the referee out of the ring, onto the table, out into the people. I understand he received about a $3,000 fine for that, and, and I understand that his comments were he didn't even care. There you go, as the second pile driver now that he's used on me, and, and, and not just a regular pile driver, but as I said, on that metal tray. And the man is still not content. Well, I want to say that, uh, you know, he did me in. He got the best of me on this. Randy Savage did everything that he wanted to do. They had to haul me out in an ambulance. And it was Randy Savage's day to shine. But there's an old saying that every dog has its day. And this dog plans on having his day sometime in the near future. Now, I've been under doctor's orders, and I've been under a different doctor's care. And they've told me to stay out of wrestling for sure until the neck is completely healed. Well, I want Randy Savage to know that that day is fast approaching. And while I was recuperating, while I had this time off, all kind of thoughts went through my head. I remembered one of the paramedics that took me to the hospital that night in the emergency room. I was laying there with my neck in that brace. He said, King, you can't keep subject subjecting your body to this kind of abuse week in and week out. You're going to have to call it a career one of these days, and now might be as good a time as any. And I must admit, that thought went through my mind. But all I have to do is sit and look at this film, just like you're looking at it right now. And that thought goes out real quick. Because I know when I watch this, I know that I got a big job to finish. I got a big score to settle. And Randy Savage, I can assure you this, brother. As you can see how you left me laying in the ring, your time is coming. Your day is fast at hand, brother, because I've been to doctors, I've had the treatments, the neck is just about well, and I'm gonna be back in that ring. And Randy Savage, you're the man that I want. I'm not going to go back against anybody else. I'm not going to have any warm-up matches. I'm not having any tune-up matches. I'm not going to step back into a wrestling ring until it's against Randy Savage. And I understand he's not too anxious to sign a contract. Well, I've told the promoter, Eddie Marlin, I don't care what it takes. I don't care if I have to wait another month. I don't care how long it takes. One of these days, he's going to have to put his name on the dotted line because I'm not coming back until it's against Randy Savage. 
and I want Randy Savage, wherever he is today, I, I hope that he's watching the show. I hope that he takes a look right now at what is taking place because he's going to get real familiar with that scene. He's going to see what the inside of an ambulance looks like. He's going to get real familiar with the inside of a hospital because I can assure you, and I can promise the people, I can promise the promoters, I can promise Randy Savage that before I'm through, brother, that's going to be you in that ambulance. I'm going to return the favor to you, buddy, in spades. I can promise you that, Randy Savage. Well, and there you have it. Those are the events that have led up to here today. Uh, it's good to be back on the show. It's going to be even better to be back in the ring, which I plan to do shortly. I uh, want to say hello to everybody, and I uh, want to thank everybody that's been so nice, uh, showing all the concern, the cars, the letters, the phone calls. I also want to thank a lot of people that helped me immediately after this, what you just saw. Uh, the two paramedics that were from the fire station there on Parkway did a super job on the way to the hospital, and and uh, out at Baptist East, the uh, emergency room staff, Dr. Hunt, all of those, Dr. Richard Ennis. And also, uh, as you can see, I am doing the show today from uh, another doctor's office, Dr. Larry Cole here in Memphis. We're going to be talking to him because he's also treating me. And we're going to be talking to him and another one of his patients, uh, Bill Crumby, coming up here in the show today. All of that, plus we're going to see uh, a confrontation between the Miami Dolphins and the... Um, San Francisco 49ers, but not on the football field. They met on a basketball court recently. We'll cover that, plus some other things. So you stay with us. We'll be right back with more of the show after these words. When you've got a headstrong boss, sometimes you need some headstrong relief. Goody's Extra Strength Tablets. When you've got a headstrong teenage daughter, sometimes you need some headstrong... the best-selling car, not only in Memphis, but America? Who sells the car that changed people's minds about buying imports? Your Memphis area Chevy dealer. The car, the front-wheel drive Chevy Cavalier. Now with an exciting new feature, 8.8 .8 GMAC financing. Chevy Cavalier. The price, just 6606 At your Memphis area Chevy dealer. Isn't it great to love a car you can afford? We're back on the show, and we're going to talk now to a young man that just, uh, I guess, every Memphis sports fan is familiar with. October 29th, 1977, Memphis State against Southern Mississippi. Bill Crumby, uh, that's a day that'll live on in your mind forever, won't it? Right, I don't think it's going. We're not going to forget it anytime soon, Jerry. Well, Bill, uh, uh, in that particular play, uh, well, if could you just describe to the people exactly what took place and how your neck was injured? Well, for those of you who remember, I was coming down on a kickoff, and a uh, man veered to the inside, and I came across to hit him, and he was hit low, and I hit him high, and just uh, at that point, my neck snapped. And that, uh, of course, you went uh, through all sorts of treatment, even a, even a trip to Russia, and uh, and that's well, we're we're many years later, and but there has been progress. Am I right? Right, we went through eight months of uh, treatment at the spinal cord unit here in Memphis, and in 79 I went over to Russia and see what see what type of things they could do over there. I'd heard that they were doing some, 
some different types of surgeries and I uh, found out that uh, I would be over there for about nine months and have two different surgeries which I wasn't willing at that time to do since they had just gone into Afghanistan and I didn't care to be in Russia in the middle of World War III. I was right. Uh, and since that time, I, uh, they they asked me about chiropractor and I talked to a Dr. Cole before I went. And uh, when I got back, I thought that was a natural thing to do to give him a chance to see what he could do for me. So in other words, they actually uh, recommended that you see uh, a chiropractor or a spinal adjustment, that type of thing, right? Right. They had asked me if I had ever considered any type of spinal manipulation and I told them that I had been contacted by a chiropractor. And uh, at that point in time, I was, you know, I said, when I get back, that's what I was going to do, and here we are now. Okay. Well, uh, if we could, if we could call Larry in here for just a minute, uh, Larry Cole, as a matter of fact, is your is your chiropractor. Larry, if you can come around here and uh, tell us tell us some of the things that uh, some of the things that you've done with Bill. Well, when Bill first came in, he was on quite a bit of medication, and um, first of all, we had to try and get his system to stabilize and try and get him off of so much medication because, as you know chiropractic and medication do not go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. They kind of counteract the two. And we're working with the body naturally so that we can help body, uh, Bill's condition to stabilize. Mm -hmm. Well, what about the progress now since he's been coming here? Uh, super, he's, he's looking great. Uh, everything seems to be stabilized. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, some people, no, go ahead. <laughs> he looks fine. <laughs> um, as far as physically, as, as far as he's concerned, everything seems to be responding well to treatment. Uh, his prognosis is good. He's made some, some terrific uh, changes over the, how many, four years, Bill, we've been it's treating been him now? five years now. About five years that we've been treating Bill. And, um, of course, he was paralyzed from... Um, from about this area here down, and as you can tell, now he's only paralyzed from from his waist down. So the nerves have regenerated all the way up to that point, and a nerve only regenerates at about a quarter of an inch per every 10 days. So it's slow, but, but there's a, there's a possibility then, Bill, that someday you'll uh, regain even more than you have now. We're right, and I you know I'm never going to give up that hope. And we've worked hard and uh, long on it. We're not going to we're not going to quit working. Okay, well, let's, let, let's talk a little bit about what Bill Crumby's doing now. I understand you got a new business venture underway, right? Right. My brother-in-law and I have gone into a dry cleaning business, Tiger Cleaners. All right, Tiger Cleaners. This is a good opportunity to get a good plug. Where's that located? Well, our uh, main store's at 970 Brooks, and we've got a pickup station at 1211 Getwell, and a new store going in at Mount Mariah Extended in Ridgeway. So things are, things are looking good for us right now. Well, that's super. Another thing we want to mention briefly, too, is the uh, Blue-Gray game coming up uh, real soon, right? Right, April 27th, uh, Memphis State Blue-Gray game. Uh, this uh, will be the last year, I believe, of the, the pledge that Memphis State made to me, and... Uh, we look for a big crowd out there and uh, get the Tigers off on a good foot. Now, want, uh, let me clarify that just a little bit. In other words, Memphis State pledged to you a certain amount of money after the injury and, and each year the Blue-Gray game. In, in case the people don't understand that, uh, it's an opportunity not only to see an excellent football game, to see the, the, what the Tigers are going to look like this year, but also uh, it helps and defer some of your medical uh, bills, right? Right. They pledged back in 77, uh, they pledged a hundred thousand dollars to me and uh, this will be the last year of that and I you know used part of that money that I was able to save to go into this business so it is you know it's, it's been helpful well we wanna we wanna wish you the best of luck especially in your new business and uh, wanna invite everybody once again to attend that uh, blue gray game the date again is April 27th April 27th right I appreciate you having me on the show Jerry oh well it's been a pleasure having you here and we wanna look for uh, continued improvement okay Bill Great. All right, we're going to be uh, back with more right after this. Aqua Sleep World Superstore Second Store is here at Mendenhall Square next to Chevy's, and you're the one that's going to benefit. Aqua Sleep World is offering fabulous savings, like on the Heritage, probably the finest value at Aqua Sleep World, featuring sculptured shelves, wood frame mirror, and optional decorator footboard. With a three-foot-tall headboard, the Heritage is a lot of bed for the money, only $2.99. Now, two convenient locations, Summer Avenue and Mendenhall Square next to Chevy's. <laughs> For me, 
Premier Buick has it. Premier value, Buick quality. Right now, get an 85 Buick LeSabre on sale, 11 696 at Premier Buick. Premier Buick LeSabre with popular standard equipment plus tinted glass, V8 engine, ETR stereo with seek and scan, so much more. This week, only $399 down, cash or trade, 1985 Buick LeSabre, 232 a month. At Premier Buick Volkswagen, 6400 Winchester, just east of Hickory Ridge Mall. Premier Buick has it. Levy used auto parts can save you money. Most parts sell for 50 to 70 percent less than new parts. Check out these fender bender specials. Over 300 front caps to choose from and a good selection of front fenders, bumpers, and front end pieces. All parts are fully guaranteed or get a cash refund on return parts with receipt at Levy Auto Parts. Two locations, 1720 North Thomas at Levy Road and 2125 Person at Airways. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Saturdays from 8 till 3. We're back on the show now, and uh, I want to take just a second here to talk about uh, my rehabilitation process up to this point. And as most of the wrestling fans know, that in the past I've had uh, several different injuries, the broken leg, different uh, different things involving also the wrestling career, and been treated by any number of, of some fine doctors here in Memphis. For example, with my leg, Dr. Richard Ennis, uh, with the internal bleeding problem, Dr. Bill Burroughs and Dr. Salmons. And, uh, I mentioned my dentist, uh, I mentioned all my doctors one time. My dentist got mad at me, so I'll throw his name into Ken Isaacman. He always likes a plug too. But uh, this particular injury was one that uh, it was a pinched nerve, and uh, I've had this once before. And, uh, and sometimes maybe doctors and chiropractors don't get along too well, but I can I can vouch for the fact uh, that the chiropractor was the one that that helped and alleviated the pain from the pinched nerve and Larry. Uh, you've helped work with me on this thing and uh, well it's it's feeling a lot better now well Jerry I appreciate that and I appreciate the opportunity to to help to help your condition and I really think the the most important thing is the time that you were able to give us to rehabilitate your situation because it was a condition that was traumatized and injured and it could have been a serious situation if we had not treated it properly okay just real quickly uh, we're gonna go to a little piece of film here and just show you a couple of the things that uh, that Larry did while we were working with him here. All right, Jerry, I want you to turn your head as far as you can to the left. I'm going to check the range of motion. Okay, very good. you got 70 degrees to the left and to the right. All right, and you've got 58 degrees to the right. So you've got limited range of motion this way. What should it be? What's, well, it should be right, right at 78 or 80 degrees. And if that indicates that this muscle right in here is torn and is swollen, and has been injured, okay? We need to try and get that to loosen up. Okay, and Jerry, what we're doing here is we're pulling the neck apart, so, or as a kind of a traction, so that it will help relieve some of that pressure and that pinched nerve that you have in there. What you basically, what you got is a compressed disc, and that's causing pain across the shoulders, up in the neck, and down into the arm. Well, without a doubt, Larry, those things those things helped. Well, you need those things to uh, to help rehabilitate these situations. By the way, do you think you might need me at ringside? You mean my first match back? Right. I think Randy Savage might need you at ringside, okay? Because <laughs> I've got some uh, unusual things I plan to do to that man, I'll guarantee you that. Hey, somebody else that might need you, Larry, <laughs> we may be sending in here, is a good friend of mine, Ron Olson from FM 100. He has got it in his mind that he wants to wrestle, and he's going to be going against... Uh, uh, Steve Connolly. Now this is this could uh, they could both wind up in your office after this, and uh, that's going to be coming up on the 29th of this month. And we had some comments from Ron Olson about that big match. Hello, Lawler. <laughs> Ron Olson. Fat chance that Ron Olson's ever going to be in any chiropractor's office. Come I, on. I'll tell you who's going to need the chiropractor. It's going to be one Steve Connolly. This is Ron Olson. Lawler, do you know who we are? We're the world disc jockey championship wrestlers. Look at that. Look at that right there. Look at this. <laughs> don't want to mess with trouble. Thing. You don't want trouble. But we found somebody here at FM 100 who does. David and I have issued a challenge the to creep. all the other disc jockeys at FM 100. The creep, tell them who it is. Looking for somebody to challenge us, and one person stood up. One person out of a crowd stood up, and his name is Steve Conley. Boy, is he stupid. <laughs> his listen, name is Conley, me. Conley, me. and FM 100 listeners, listen close. Coming up Monday night, April 29th, <clears throat> I want you in the ring, Conley. For Jamie Ray Kimbrell. For Jamie Ray Kimbrell. We're going to do something nice for somebody. 
body for a change, we're going to give a portion of the proceeds to Jamie Ray Kimball for her liver organ transplant. It's going to be a special night. Monday night, April 29th. I want everybody to be there. Everybody's got to be there. A portion of the proceeds go to Jamie Ray Kimbrell. And Conley. You better bring a nurse. You had better be there. You're going to need a chiropractor. <laughs> Can you think of the words that are going to be coming out of your mouth that night? The words are going to be. Help me. Help me. Oh, Help me. Ouch. Ron Olson, David Page, be there Monday night, April 29th for my Memphis debut on the ring. We are the wrestling disc jockey tag team the champions. champions. There's no question about it. Lawler, I want you to be there, too, to see this. You'll see some real wrestling. Monday night, April 29th. Come down, Ron. Come down. Save your energy. That's all. Thank you. Jamie Ray Kimbrell needs it. We're going to be there, Memphis. Thank you. <laughs> Ron Olson in the ring. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to see that. And that's going to be taking place at the Coliseum along with all the other action. That's going to be on the 29th, a couple of weeks away, because he's got to get in shape, he said. He, and uh, I understand we're also going to be maybe having a little video on him, uh, something to the tune of Rocky or something like that. I don't know, maybe next week. We'll be waiting for that. Uh, uh, also, big action is taking place tomorrow night down at the Mid-South Coliseum. I may just have to come down there. Uh, and have a front row ticket to see this match between Randy Savage and Nick Bockwinkle. Uh, the fabulous one's going to be in action down there. A super card tomorrow night at the Mid-South Coliseum. You can get your tickets at the Coliseum or at all the Ticketmaster outlets, and uh, we'll be looking forward to that. And I'll tell you what, we're going to be right back with more of the show right after these words. <laughs> doing commercial for Dunn's transmission? Yes, sir. Hadn't you heard me tell you that Dunn's will fix your transmission right and at a reasonable price? Yes, sir. You mean you know all that and you still hadn't taken your car to Dunn's? Yes, sir. Now, was it worth it to get your transmission fixed right and at a reasonable price? on Aqualine Feather Touch faucets at Centro. Easy to install without tools and washerless for years of trouble-free performance. Sleek chrome finish lavatory faucet with pop-up just $29.99. Craft finish decorator faucet with wood grain handles and pop-up only $79.99. Contemporary single handle kitchen faucet with spray $39.99. For great new ideas and big savings, shop Centro. We started all from tools to if you're looking for quality auto parts, there's one place that should pop into mind. Auto Shack. Because Auto Shack carries a full line of the best parts in auto parts. Bendix for brakes, TRW for chassis and engine parts, plus other top-of-the-line brands like AC Delco, Motorcraft. You name it, Auto Shack has it. At savings up to 50%. And that could be the best part of all. Auto Shack. For people who don't have time to waste money. Okay, we're back, and as I told you at the beginning of the show, uh, Miami Dolphins, San Francisco 49ers, of course, that was the big Super Bowl clash, and now they've met again, but this time it was on the basketball court. Let's check in on that action. A rather unusual setting for a football grudge match. This kind of beef just doesn't look right on a basketball court, but atmosphere and bragging rights were secondary in the rematch. Helping raise money for Easter Seal, children like three-year-old Samantha Fain suffering from birth defects, is what really brought the two teams indoor to settle the score. You know, every every uh, time you walk out on the field in the Orange Bowl and there's the wheelchair section, you realize how for fortunate you are to be able to be out on the field playing. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's very little what we're doing to be able to, to give something back. Blackwood was joined by Dolphin teammates Kim Camper, Nat Moore, William Judson, and Mark Duper here with the basketball. A group whose incentive was aided by a bitter memory from January. Get it right the first time, that's the main thing. Ooh, careful, let it pass. Get it right the next time, that's not the same thing. Ooh. Well, that's 
think it's going to be impossible to get even after what they did to us out there in uh, San Francisco in the Super Bowl. The 49ers may be impossible to stop inside the 20, but they're not quite as impressive inside a gym. If you're doing anything uh, sports, athletically inclined, that, that competitiveness is going to come out. And even though, even though we're laughing and joking, we still want to win. We're here to win. We're here to have fun, but we're here to win. <laughs> no dice for Turner and his teammates, including former Dolphin Freddie Solomon. 49ers take the loss today. Final score, Dolphins 61, San Francisco 48. So in 1985, it's San Francisco 1. And the Dolphins won. Now, football fans may not agree that the score is exactly even, but the children like Samantha, today's charity game means a lot more than any Super Bowl. In Miami, Jerry Sandusky for NBC News. 49ers and the Dolphins, I guarantee you uh, the outcome may be different next time they meet on the football field, too. And speaking of NFL football, you're going to hear it right here first. I'm telling you right now, you mark this down in your little book, the Cleveland Browns will get Bernie Kosar. Even though they've, Houston has traded his draft choice to Minnesota, the Browns will get Kosar. You heard me say it, okay? I guess that's about all the time we have for today's show. We want to invite you to be with us next week because we got a super show coming up next week. Uh, as I said earlier, we're going to have Ron Olson and uh, one of his videos on. Uh, a lot of surprises about some new talent coming into the area. That's going to be taking place next week. Also going to be talking to an exciting young man, Jerry Oski, who is uh, creating a lot of uh, attention around the wrestling area here. And I'll be back to tell you uh, about my return to wrestling. That's next week. And Mr. Randy Savage, I just want you to know that I will be back, brother, and you're the number one man on my hit list. Till then, uh, this is the King saying so long. We'll see you right here on TV5 next Sunday at 11. Thank you.